Hello, good Saturday to everybody. How is everybody doing today? We are at the arcade personal collection of Brad Elysian. Here he is right here. How you doing? Yeah, he is a uh, local um, repairman, arcade jukebox repairman, uh, collector, um, seller, reseller. Um, and this is, everything. yeah, a little bit of everything coin op here. So we're gonna uh, go ahead and show you his uh, personal collection today. And uh, our boys are here uh, playing on some of these wonderful games. So uh, let's dive in, here we go. Um, we'll start off over here. Actually, we'll start off with this jukebox. Let's go down here and there you go. take a look that's, at that jukebox. That's an NSM Prestige 2 uh, 45 box. Um, somewhat rare, German German jukebox. Pretty cool. Restored it. Um, they sound good. They got great lights that dance to the music. So it's a cool little box, you know. Not special, but pretty neat. Cool indeed. So here we are. We're at uh, Funhouse. Of course, Funhouse. Everybody's favorite game, but mine, competes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's fun. I know a lot of y'all like it, but we just can't get in it, you know? Yeah, it's, I like it. It's okay. Not as much as I like when you go down the line here, but you know. See, this is uh, more my speed right here. Guns and Roses. Who doesn't love Guns and Roses, right? So, so uh, tell us about how you acquired this one, Brad. I know you just recently got this one. So they made 500 of this, the uh, actual collector's edition. Um, I, I guess I kind of got lucky. They launched them, and you, you know you had to buy it right away. They sold out right away. There's a ton of uh, the, I guess, the limited editions out there, and the standards. So I mean, they're all fun. You know, Jersey Tech makes a phenomenal product. They're hands down the best pinball maker out there. You know. Um, it's cool. It's a great game. If you get a chance to play, you should play one. It's, it's really cool. Yeah, I just played a played a round on this, and uh, yeah, it was great. Now this is one of my uh, all-time favorites right here. Being a Star Trek nerd too, growing up, uh, I watched a lot of the uh, Next Generation. So and I see my display is acting funny. So oh uh, no, that's a ribbon cable issue usually. Um, so. If you ever have this problem, check all your ribbon cables, which we'll do after this video, probably. <laughs> Top <laughs> tech pro tip right there. Yeah, there you go. So, so here's the play field on it. I mean, this thing is, is absolutely awesome. Oh, yeah. A friend of mine, Josh Dawson, up in, uh, he's like in the Flint area, I believe. He restored this game. He did a great job, actually. It's all powder coated, signed by the actors. Uh, oh, yeah. Really check nice. that out. Let's really go in on that. I didn't, even, I didn't even recognize that. So. Very cool. Who, uh, Jonathan Frakes and uh, that must be uh, LeVar Burton on the yeah, end there. Yeah, Not too sure of myself. I do watch the show a little bit, but I really like the game. So yeah. yeah, oh yeah, the game is fun. This is a popular one too, Theater of Magic. Oh yeah, that's probably this has gotta be in the top, uh, yeah. yeah. It's in the top five or ten of pretty much women really like it, really good game. Um, it's just a fun overall game. Everybody likes it. Easy to play. Um, Really good flow. Probably one of the best flows of any game made. It's, it's really good. Cool. Yeah, very cool indeed. Still got a beer in a couple of them, apparently. But yeah. <laughs> See, that's the only way to play pinball. See, right. <laughs> sometimes I do better with the beer in the hand, you know? <laughs> So this is a really interesting cabinet right here. I'm gonna actually go out a little bit and. So yeah, uh, this one he's playing here is a. Uh, this is a custom build. Me and uh, my buddy Bobby Cronawet helped me build this. It's got the mini Super Nintendo in it. So you know we took it all apart, soldered everything, thing to the sticks. You know made the programming here. And um, it's got dual screens, LED lights. Just a just a cool project. A lot of people like the original Super System, and you know they might go, oh, you know. It's, I did get this cabinet empty. It was missing everything, including the control panel. So I got all the control panel and then I did the custom building. So if it was all original, it would have been cool, but it's definitely cooler now, I think. <laughs> Either way, they're cool even the originals. So yeah, it was a, it was a fun build. It was something to do definitely. You know? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a cool piece. Thanks. That's uh, the Peach channel up here. Oh yeah, here we go. And uh, so yeah, I was just asking about this uh, this one here because it was kind of um, out of place with uh, everything else. So I was like, well, what was the story on this one? And uh, yeah, you want to go ahead yes. and uh, tell us about that one? So this was uh, actually my grandma's who's gone now, but you know, it's a sentimental game. But uh, 1972 Olympic hockey, really fun 
EM game. Um, pretty cool game. People like it. It, it broke in like 1980, 79 or 80. They bought it almost new. And uh, me and uh, Clay, uh, Clay Harrell's a great pinball guy. Everybody pretty much knows him. Uh, he helped me fix this years ago. And um, it's been running great since. It's a good game. So it's, it's cool. It's up on EM. A little bit different with the animated back glass. You know? so, yeah. Awesome. It, you know, I, I love a good story behind, uh, yeah, behind the unit yeah, too. That's so a, That's a keeper. You know, Pinbot, everybody's other favorite game. Oh yeah, you know. sure it doesn't need much introduction, this one. Yeah, not really. Pretty fun one. Um, did the little blue and red LEDs on each side way back in the day when it was cool to do, I guess. <laughs> I, had, I had this game a long time, probably. I probably uh, had these two the longest, over 15 years, probably. Wow, oh, check that out. Good job, yeah, awesome, awesome game. Yeah. I'd like to get a pinball one, or I'm sorry, a pinbot one day. Yeah, that's great. Game. We got this uh, versus XI bike, but it's modified, I believe. Yeah, so this is another one, an empty cabinet, and it ended up as, uh, you know, let me get one. Sure, sure. Yeah, so it ended up as a pinball one, and we're going to get that volume turned down a little bit. There we go. So it's uh it's got a mini Nintendo as well and um you know resoldered everything up to the sticks and it's kind of neat because um oh it's yeah it's doing something but um it's cool because it's all it's still running Nintendo hardware just like the Super System over here they're running true Nintendo hardware so they're not they're not multi games from no goofy board you know it's it's real Nintendo so um, love the interface too the interface is awesome yeah yeah they run they run good. I really like it. There's something different. Yeah. This one's actually possibly for sale. I'll sell it. it plays uh, every Nintendo game made. I mean, no Sega, nothing like that. It's strictly Nintendo. So, so you guys heard that. If uh, it is for sale, so if anybody wants it, uh, drop a comment. Yeah. Let me know and uh, get you guys set up. So total yeah. nuclear annihilation. This is one of my uh, one of my favorite ones in this room here too. Um, fun game. I don't have it, the original, but I have it on my V pin. But it's always fun to see the actual one. Every time I come over, I always have to come and take a look at it. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a fun game. It's, it's kind of like uh, new school meets old school, you know? Oh yeah, definitely. It's like uh, it's a good like way to a, put it. Just a regular, easy, electro-mechanical type play field, but with a uh, really solid state, but with super fast gameplay. So definitely one of the fastest pinballs out there. Pretty fun. Awesome. We got uh, Taxi by Williams over here. Another good game. Oh, yeah. This one seems to be in great shape, too. It's pretty good. Taxi's got really, uh, if you will, crap shit out of them back in the day. That was just such a good game. It stayed in the arcade a long time. They get a lot of wear by the pop bumpers up there. Mine has them as well. You know. um, but not bad. You know, they're hard to find really, really, really nice. But uh, I've owned this a long time too. So. Yeah, pretty cool. So. Yeah, I'm gonna play this one on the V pin tonight. It's been a while since I launched this one. So let's kind of take you around here too to kind of show off the room a bit. Uh, a little messy. <laughs> As everyone knows, the rooms are never done. So right. there will always be some sort of project somewhere. Don't worry about that. But yeah, this is uh. Truly fantastic. We got one more game over here. Let's uh, kind of bring it in here. We're here. What is that? Sega Race TV? Yeah, Sega Race TV. That's yeah. like a 2008, I believe, or something. Um, pretty good graphics. Sega did real good on that. Yeah, the boys were playing earlier on this one. Yeah, they were having a ball. Good looking screen, you know, force feedback on there as well. Yeah, Lindberg system or something, I believe. Uh, Computer-based game, not my favorite, especially to work on, but you can get really good graphics out of it, so, you know, that's what they were going for. Yeah. And we got this, um, let's not forget about this guy here. We got this uh, bowling game right here. That's it. Yeah. It's pretty cool. We got some boxes that are, but it works good. I know I messed up. 
want, we can go, uh, might as well show uh, the jukebox. Oh, okay, wait, we got we got a bonus. I thought we were going to wrap it up. We got a bonus. So let's uh, take it into the next room. Yeah. This is a cool one. Um, oh, check that out. Yeah, I've seen this before. This is pretty rare, 1961 or two. Uh, mm -hmm. Continental, Continental 2 jukebox made by AMI. Very sought after boxes. People really like these. Um, mm -hmm. Me and my friend uh, Bobby, we restored this. Took us a few months, rechromed it, and rewired it all. And pretty neat piece, you know. It's um, just oh, definitely, you know, very different. So yeah, very retro, cool. loving it. I like it. Yeah, I always love like the the, the massive um, the massive buttons here, you know. Oh yeah, I see these a lot on the, all the older cars as well, and you know. The, yeah, they, yeah. This is uh, yeah, do, this is yeah. this is something. Uh, <laughs> That I that I really dig, big buttons, man, big buttons. Hold right, on, let's go over. just like the cars back then were made super cool. Oh, yeah. definitely. Now we got this other jukebox. This oh, is yeah, like this a is retro neat. feel with a modern, with a modern touch. Okay. Is that a tablet there? Yeah, it's a Samsung yeah. running off a Samsung tablet there. So yeah, it's uh, it's pretty cool. Got a neat little jukebox app and uh, yeah, so you can change the songs. Just you know, it's got a uh, seven thousand five hundred and two songs apparently. Yeah. Touch Check that out. out. LEDs. Got to build Pete one of these someday. It's pretty cool. Yeah, you know what? He might, he might talk me into it too, ladies and gentlemen. But uh, so yeah, that's uh, we're gonna wrap this up. Uh, that's uh, pretty much the game room, and we'll give you one last uh, final view of it. Definitely a cool place to come and hang out. I mean, you could be in rooms like this for hours on end. I never want to leave when I come, that's for sure. It's always something cool to talk about or look at, you know. Yeah. Got Pete's coffee cup too here. See, check that out. Yeah, so like and subscribe. I want to uh, offer one to the thousandth uh, subscriber. So uh, get that in there. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you very much. And uh, we'll catch you on the next video.